Hello friends, welcome to Visual Vocabulary brought to you by Mahindra Guru, The Brahmas for Success. Friends, the words that we have used today were asked in an SSC examination of 2013. And in fact, we include the words that were asked in the MTH examination, in the UDC examination, in the LDC examination, in the CGL examination, in the CHSL examinations, etc, etc. Plus, the synonyms and tonics that we use are extremely important for your bank exams. So watch the entire session very carefully. But first of all, here's a reminder for all of you that if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so by clicking over here on the subscribe tab. If you're using a cell phone, you'll have to go to the home page first. Now let's have a look at the previous vocab challenge. See, here's the previous vocab challenge for you. The word that we told you yesterday that as a vocab challenge was inevitable, which being an adjective meant certain. In Hindi, it's jisse basana ja sake. Now we had asked you what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym that we told you in the previous session of visual vocabulary. Let's have a look at the vocab champions first. Well, here are the vocab champions. They are Mr. Manish Tiwari, sir, Mr. Manish Prakash, sir. So actually there are two Manishes today and Mr. Anubhav Mehta, sir, as well. So many, many congrats to all of them from all of us here at Mahindra Guru. And if you are connected with us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, then you will, you'll be able to see when, they prom when we promote them over there. Now let's have a look at the correct answers. See, here are the correct answers. The correct synonym was inexorable and the correct antonym was escapable. Now let's have a look at the first word of the day. See, here's the first word of the day. It's ecstasy. Now, ecstasy being a noun means extreme happiness. We have also given the Hindi meaning of every word. So if you want to know it, then there it is. So ecstasy being a noun is extreme happiness. Let's have a look at the usage first. Well, here's the usage of it. As you can see, we have given a video for you and uh, let's have a look at the filler. The actors are expressing blank space because their film is a super hit. Well, as you can see, the star, the star cast of the amazing Spider-Man in the video over here and with regards to them, we have written a particular sentence. So what do you think? Now, how do we use ecstasy in this sentence? Okay, we use it like this. The actors are expressing ecstasy or extreme happiness because their film is a super hit. Now let's have a look at the synonyms of ecstasy. See, here are the synonyms of ecstasy. They can be euphoria or elation. Now let's have a look at the antonyms. See, here the antonyms are, they are depression or misery. So I hope that you got this word. Now let's have a look at the next one. See, here's the next one for you. It's eclipse. Now eclipse being a verb means wheel. Alright, so eclipse being a verb means to wheel over here. Wheel is not a noun over here, it means to cover something. Now, let's have a look at the usage first. See, here's the usage for you and as you can see in the filler, the moon blank space the sun during a solar eclipse. So what we want to convey over here is that the moon covers the sun during a solar eclipse. Now, okay, what's the word in question? It's eclipse. So how do we use it? The moon eclipses the sun during a solar eclipse. Now let's have a look at the synonyms. See, here are the synonyms. The synonyms of eclipse are overshadow or bidim. The synonyms are overshadow or bidim. Now let's have a look at the antonyms. Well, the antonyms are brighten or lighten. So the antonyms are what? They are brighten or lighten. So I hope that you got this word. Let's have a look at the next one. See, here's the next one for you. It's disband. Now disband being a verb means to break up or to scatter as well. You can say that. Now, let's have a look at the usage. See, here's the video for you for the usage. And as you can see in the filler, the Gurela unit was blank space over enemy territory to do its job. Well, actually, Gurela warfare is an Indian style of warfare. Actually, it was an Indian style of warfare. And now it is actually being used by the military, by the world military all over the world. Now, what we want to say over here is that the Gurela unit that you can see over here broke up over the enemy territory to do its job. So they break into small, small parts and then they do their job of destroying the enemy. Now, how do we use disband over here? Well, something like this. The Curella unit was disbanded over the enemy territory to do its job. Let's have a look at the synonyms for disband. Well, that's demobilize or disperse. The synonyms of disband are demobilize or disperse. Now, let's have a look at the antonyms. Well, here are the antonyms. They are assemble or collect. The antonyms for disband are assemble or collect. Now let's have a look at the next one. See, here's the next word for you. It's fetch. 
See, fetch being a verb means to get a hold and uh, to get a hold of and bring something. All right, so to get a hold of and bring something. Now let's have a look at the usage first. See, here's the usage for you. This dog, that the one in the picture, the dog was trying to blank space bubbles. The dog was trying to blank space bubbles. Over here, what we want to convey is that the dog was trying to get hold of the bubbles and then bring them to the master. So, what's the word in question? It's fetch. And how do we use it? The dog was trying to fetch bubbles. Now, let's have a look at the synonyms of fetch. Well, they are retrieve and obtain. The synonyms of fetch are retrieve or obtain. Now, let's have a look at the antonyms. Well, here are the antonyms. They are shun or withhold. The antonyms of fetch are shun or withhold. Now, let's have a look at the last word of the day. See, here's the last word for you. It's scoop. Now, scoop being a verb means to dig up. So, now, this is not a scoop. This scoop is not a noun, all right? This is a verb. It's an action. So, scoop here being a verb means to dig up. Let's have a look at the usage first. Well, here's the usage for you. The dog blank space up the hidden bomb. That means, now, how do we use scoop in this? What we want to convey is that the dog, you can say, dug up the hidden bomb. So, how do we use scoop here? The dog scooped up the hidden bomb. Now, let's have a look at the synonyms of scoop. Okay, the synonyms are excavate or gouge. The synonyms are what? They are excavate or gouge. Now, let's have a look at the antonyms. Well, the antonyms of scoop are drop or bury. The antonyms are what? That's drop or bury. So, that was all in the vocab section. Let's have a look at the vocab challenge. Well, here's the vocab challenge of the day for you. Now, the word is misleading. Which being an adjective means confusing. In Hindi, it's galat fahmi pada karne wala. Now, let's have a look at the usage first. Well, here's the usage for you. Okay, as you can see in the image, in the video, in the live image of the video over here, the magician showed some misleading tricks over here. All right, so that's the usage. Let's have a look at the given synonym and the antonym as well. Well, the given synonym is ambiguous, given antonym is straight. You have to tell us what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym that we told you in the previous session of visual vocabulary. If you can do that, then definitely you can become a vocab champion in the next episode. And in fact, from now on, there are two things that I'd like to inform you about. First, all of you can give us the words that you come across and if you're not able to find the answers to the meaning of that word or the usage of the word you can definitely give us that word and we'll give you the meaning and the usage as well you can definitely just put up the uh, word in the comment box below the video and the second thing that very soon today we are going to launch our latest Mahindra Guru app. So that's actually the mother of all educational apps in India. So do not forget to download it from the Play Store very soon. And in the end, we'd like to remind you that if you haven't liked the video so far, please do so. Comment and give us your feedback of the video. Do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so far because at Mahindra's, your success is our success. Thank you.